Hi guys. You might have seen that I film quite a few of my cars with a camera towed on a trailer. Well, I've decided to design myself a new trailer camera mount. That's what this is. I found I'd got these wheels and axle in my stock. So, the general idea is that's going to fit on there. And then I've designed that part to match one of those standard action camera waterproof uh, camera mounts or camera containers because I've been running it without any waterproof protection so quite often I'm getting the cameras wet so that's what this is about right for comparison that's the one I use at the moment which just carries the camera open so no protection when we're going through the puddles and this will be the new one with the waterproof enclosure but I haven't quite decided how I'm going to connect this on yet this is a steel plastic coated steel pipe that comes from some sort of garden trellis or something that I've had for years and used for various projects so I'll put some sort of a hook on the end of that so we can just connect it on the back yeah looks nice we'll see if it works but not tonight Well, this is turning into one of those projects that's just taking far too long. I showed you I printed that one. Showed you what I wanted to do with it. That one's going to go in there. And that's going to go through there. All nice and easy. But straight away, the central piece snapped off and yeah that one so i printed it again before i printed it again i changed the design slightly added a little bit of a lip around the edge here so that i could use this standard um whatever you want to call this bit handle that comes from the normal kit that these come from and I decided to print it using infill infill support layers for where the gaps were and that went wrong I can't get that out it's actually split where I was trying to get it out can't get the end ones out the ones in the middle here that I'm just undoing you will see they broke as well. Come on. I printed this with just 20% infill, which is probably why it's so uh, brittle and falling apart. That's actually stuck in there. I know why that is because I put a bit of super glue on that one and it's obviously run into there. So it is all going wrong. So this time I've printed it solid so it feels significantly heavier. Okay, so that still goes through all right. I'll have to do something to that to get that out again. Right, 
Right, I swatted that out. Question is, is it going to break as I push it on there? Right, that hasn't broken yet. Take it back out again. See if my screw holes are big enough. Could probably do with cleaning out a little bit. If I do that, it makes it a bit quicker to get it in there. So that should now nicely go in a bit, yeah. That nut, which is probably stuck. Oh no, that's all right, that's clear. So yeah, that was the change I did. I'd made a nice little hole for that to go into to hold itself in place, and that's not gonna go in there this time. So how come it went in that one and didn't go in that one? Just as a temporary fix, I've actually heated that up so it goes in there, but I have still split it. So I am going to have to print this again. I think what I've got to do is print it that way up rather than that way up. Then the layers go across that way. So it's less likely to split in that direction. If you understand what I'm saying, it's all to do with the way the layers are laid, put down by the printer. And clearly they're making a weak point printing it that way up so if I turn it that way the layers will be crossways so that will be stronger but then it'll be weak up here but then this is much thicker and it'll have that rod down the middle of it to strengthen it so that's what I think I'll do I'll reprint it that way round and make that hexagonal hole bigger. Yeah, this is a simple project that's taken far too long. Of course, it has just occurred to me there's another option. Rather than trying to be too clever and printing these where we're going to get a weak point every time, I could use the actual fittings that are supplied with the camera. We've got three different types here. That one has the normal um, is it quarter inch screw thread for a normal tripod. That one's the opposite. And then I've also got these for clamping onto a bicycle or something. And I've got lots of these because I don't use them. So I could, I could modify one of these I've already done, or I could print another one thinner. So I've got some of these bolts. So that's my easiest fix. Just print this thinner so we can screw one of them straight through it. Still need the axle holes for the axle to go through. And still need that bit at the front for the pipe to go on. But just fit that on there and then this plastic isn't the same sort of brittle plastic or PLA that I'm using to print the rest of it. So I think that might be the solution rather than print another one of these and have it snap in the same position. I think that's what I'll do. We're up to version 4 now. But I'm fairly happy with this. This seems fairly robust. 
and we've got quite a gap between the trailer and the back of the truck or in this case the Jeep Cherokee so we'll go and give it a little run I'm not sure about the angle I got it pointing at it looks to be pointing down a little bit but we'll give it a test run and I'll know in future whether to tip it up a little bit It's just coming on to rain. I've got rain spots on my head. Oh well, that'll do. We only wanted to see if it worked. Doing this one-handed steering and driving again. Not very good at that. Steering with my thumb. Anyway, it's raining. We're going back inside. Oh, come on. Why are you out of focus? Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.